Hi, Klaus. Uh, what we're going to be looking at here are pictures taken by one of Ocrest's teachers, Mr. McCarher, uh, or Mr. Mack, as most of you may know him by. Uh, he stayed at his house that's on the bay side of Ocean City during the storm Monday night. Uh, these pictures you'll be seeing uh, has the uh, two last two hours of the storm as approached Ocean City and the eye was coming toward. You can tell me what kind of waves would you expect to see? Yes. Larger waves than the previous waves. Does the Bayside usually get waves? No. No. So it's usually flat. So when you see the pictures, think about it being flat and then think about the height of the waves. Also, what would you expect to see during this storm? Yes. A bigger current. A bigger current? Current. Okay. So the water rushing in and then going out. All right. Good. Uh, then you would normally see on a, a calm day. Uh, what else do you expect to see? That's Storm like, surge. Storm surge, right. So I did not recommend anybody staying for that uh, storm because when it was supposed to hit, it was supposed to hit at high tide, but it, we were lucky it came in a little bit before high tide. Otherwise, this area would have seen another five foot or maybe even 10 feet of water as it rushes into the um, bay and can't get out. So then you have a pile up of water as the storm is approaching. All right, and now we're gonna look at uh, a little bit of the aftermath after the storm calmed down the next day. Okay. All right, so class, this is the day after the storm. Uh, it's going to focus in on the damage. I'd like you to show or see that the buildings up on top, the newer buildings, are pretty good. Built up higher. Uh, the ones that are a little old, like Mr. Max, are uh, older. You know, they don't have the floating dock, uh, so they have more damage than the people that had uh, floating docks. So uh, that boat that you saw did sink. All right, it was taking on water as the storm hit. Uh, this is a block house and the wood house structure, the older wood house structure that built right on it, it would not have been as uh, good. It would have started coming apart. Uh, the blockhouse actually withstands pretty well. This shows what? Anybody know what this is here? Where the water was? Yes, that's the height of the water. So it leads back of, of mark so you can see inside and out where that high water mark floods. Alright, so again here's some pictures of what it looks like afterwards. The dock that you saw in the pictures, this is it. It broke off from here and now it's, you know, slanted down and <coughs> the other side. And the boat, right? Uh, one of the boats that was there. Uh, the one that you saw did sink and they had to pull it out. that came loose and ended up floating into the neighborhood. But I think from Mr. Mack's pictures, you can see the dangers of staying at a, um, in a storm when it's approaching. Uh, not only you have the water, you have the wind. Uh, we were lucky that not one tornado was uh, you know, predicted or one that I even heard of. So the eye on this storm 
wasn't as strong as it could be. And with that, I also noticed that the waves that was with the, um, the eye as it was moving up continued to go north. Uh, when the eye went to the left. And I think what happened is the eye, the atmospheric eye, the eye in the air, you know, separated from the water eye. So we didn't get hit as hard as people north of us did.